Hey guys, it's Debbie with Driftwood and Shine. I'm coming on today and we're going to take a Dollar Tree bowl. You know, and these bowls come in, um, they have plates and, and the saucers and all with this really beautiful spring design. But they also this year have the um, navy and the green dinnerware. So we picked the green from the leaves to make us a tiered tray out of. To start with, now we're gonna have the bowl, we've got the plate, I've got some um, acetone remover. I normally use alcohol, I cannot find my alcohol right now. And we've got some E6000 and then hot glue. Those are the things that you, you know, you need. To start with, oh, and a way to get your, your sign off. You have to take it off the bowl. You don't have to worry about the plate, but we've got to have it off the bowl. So if you'll heat these stickers up, you just heat those stickers up, and then they, they come off a lot easier, usually. Shh, drive. They normally come off a lot easier, guys. You know when I'd go live, they would not come off as easy, but anyhow, you've got to get them off, so just keep working with them until you get it off. Until you get it off. This is simple, simple, easy, and absolutely beautiful. This can be used for spring. It can be used for Easter. I mean, it's endless. But you do need to get the sticker off because we've got to glue to this bottom. Hmm. We'll get it. Just use your fingernail or whatever and scrape it off because you've got to have it removed so that you have a clean bottom to adhere your dusty. Dusty. Forgot to get my candlestick. I need to get Dusty to get me a candlestick. Can y'all believe that? Okay. Now that we've got it removed, we're going to have to clean that area, guys, because we have to have a clean surface. So I've got my acetone. And that's not working, so... We'll open it up. Just make sure that you start with a good clean surface where all the sticker, all the residue is removed. And guys, make sure you have E6000 or some other permanent type glue than hot glue when you're working with glassware, okay? Okay, our next step now is we take a sanding block, <clears throat> and I use the rough kind, and you want to sand in there where you're gonna be putting that top because you're creating um, a bond, a rough bond for that glue to stick to. Hey, can you please get me a candlestick off the shelf in there in my room? In here? Uh-huh, in my bedroom. In your bedroom? Uh-huh. Like a real wax candlestick? Yeah. Okay. The Dusty's going to get me a candlestick, guys. Okay, and you just have to sand it the best you can. You want a good a 
good connection. Okay, and then you also have to sand on this one. No, a candlestick, not a candle. Just look in there. You'll find it. Where's it at? On that shelf, on one of those white shelves, down toward the end, I think. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I apologize that I did not get the candlestick to start with, but, and this is, you just want to scratch up this enamel. And then after you do that, go ahead and take your acetone. Dusty, they're down toward the end. Look, on them shelves up by the wall, down toward the end. The white ones. Yeah, I love Down, it's, it's about this tall. It's just a little glass can. Look where all that glass is and then last candle. two on the sh top shelf. Not the top top, but on that top shelf. Man, you come back and you oh my goodness, I'm so sorry I didn't get one. And here I am going live on YouTube for the first time in forever. I, just bring me whatever you found. I'm live on YouTube, so behave. I'm being, hey, you're on YouTube? Yes. Huh. Well, they heard you being ugly to me. Uh, go on. <laughs> okay, guys, now that we've got this out, finally, we have to also rough up the edge. Always make sure if you're connecting them to glass that you have sanded them and you've roughed that up. And then clean it with your acetone to get all the dust off, the glass dust. Okay. Now, what I do always, like whatever's going to be on my top, I set my, my candlestick on it first. And now we're going to also use mostly E6000. We're going to use very little hot glue because the hot glue is a temporary hole. The E6000 is a permanent hole. But I'm going to tell you something I have learned. These little candlesticks are so small at the top. If you don't have a lot of adhesive that's going to stay, then they will wind up breaking off. Not breaking, they just the, it just comes off because it's just not a very big area of hold. So I literally just put a lot of E6000 around and I leave me a couple of spots to put my um, hot glue because you also don't want to mix your hot glue and your E6000 together because then it's not going to stick either. Okay, so see, I've got mostly hot glue, or, I mean E6000 around there. Then on those couple of places where I didn't put hot glue, I'm going to put E6000. Oh, I just got that so backwards. I'm Where I didn't put E6000, I'm putting hot glue. I'll get that right in a minute. And then you just get it the best you can right smack in the middle. Sometimes that little sign that's on the bottom of this cook, this dinnerware is in the middle. Sometimes it's not. So don't go by that. Seems like everybody in the world's going to come today. First time I go live on YouTube. Oh, her's got her cat. Mimi, mimi, mimi. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom of this. We're going to do mostly E6000 with just a little bit of the hot glue. Sonny, I'm live on, on YouTube. <laughs> Baby, I can't right now. I can't right now. Come here. Let's go show Mama. Come on. Okay, I'm just getting it around, guys, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these um, sections. So on um, six of them, I'll have E6000, and then on two of them, we'll do hot glue. So that way, we have mostly E6000. And I'm going to tell you, these toothbrush, toothbrush 
turners are the best thing in the world for working with E6000. You just pull it just a little bit and it puts just a little bit up there for you to work with. And then it don't, it's not all coming out. I love it. Okay, we've got our E6000 on here. Until some is leaked down, but that's okay. We'll just wipe it off. Then we're going to just put our hot glue on the sections that we did not put our E6000 for our temporary hole. Now this one, you can tell where the center is because it has a little divot-like place. So all we're going to do is just best we can set it down in the middle. And then you just leave it, guys, for 24 hours. Then you've got a place to put your potato chips and a place to put your dip. A place to put your broccoli, a place to put your dip. On your spring table, on your Easter table, wherever. So I hope you guys will make one. We've got $3.75 in this tiered tray. Is that not gorgeous? And that's it, guys. I enjoyed being live with you. Now i got to figure out how to get off here. <laughs>